Thank now, you. Now, Helen, don't let's act like fluttering idiots. Oh, yes, I agree. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Margaret, you're both being so independent. Isn't that reckoned to be a good thing, Aunt Julie? You always have the most extraordinary people here. What an interesting life you live, Miss Schlegel, mm. dear. We pretend we're improving ourselves, you see. You are really the most peculiar girls. What do you think, Mrs Wilcox? I think it is wiser to leave discussion to men. I think we're interested in, in whatever we perceive the other world to be, different to our own, but also that has something that's exotic about it and, and I suppose romantic and idealistic um, and and these kind of romantic notions of what England was like when times were simpler and it was all about kind of beautiful gardens and women reading and on a chalon in lovely corseted garments but actually life was really a lot d darker and more difficult than it is now I think for many many people um, so I, I think that there's just a um, kind of a natural natural kind of fascination with our past um, but I also, you know, I think it's, it, is, it is a romantic one, you know, we, we didn't want to make this feeling like too kind of a stuffy period drama that looked kind of wistful and kind of long landscape shots of people just kind of staring earnestly into the distance. If you get off on tweed and cut glass accents and, you know, downstairs goings on. And... No, it's good. It's, it's, there's an awful, it says an awful lot about, you know, it's a really, it's a really wonderful novel and um, I think, yeah. It can take a lot of, it can take another showing. I don't understand. It's a letter from your mother. What does it say? I should like Miss Margaret Schlegel to have Howard's end. What? Who is Miss Schlegel? 